What's up everybody and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be doing something a little different today. Today we're going to be replacing my RAM in my mid 2012 MacBook Pro. So this is basically going to be kind of a standard tutorial on how to do it. Just keep in mind this is my very first time attempting to do something like this. I did watch many detailed videos and explanations on how to do it. I think I am qualified now to do this so let's hop into the uh, tutorial the first thing you're going to want to do is back up all back up everything on your computer just in case something goes wrong i don't know breaks blows up a fuse whatever just back up your computer i have mine backed up on a separate hard drive uh using the time machine app and then after you do all that you want to completely shut down your computer and Complete shut down your computer, and then you're going to want to do is take out all these screws right along the back with a uh, small, super small screwdriver and a uh, pry tool. So, because you, you're going to want to take out, you're going to well, after you get all your screws out, you're going to take the battery out to make sure that that the computer is completely off. Just in case there's some kind of backup thing still on there. And then if you, let's say something goes wrong, your battery's out, so nothing should, should go wrong at this point. After you take the battery out, you pop out the two chips, pop in your, your two new chips, and you put your battery back in, screw everything back up, and you're done. But before I get into what you're going to have to do, I want to explain why I am changing my RAM, my MacBook Pro. As some of you may know me personally, I've been having some computer problems. It's just, it is an older computer. It's from mid-2012, as I stated earlier. Um, it's always going slow. I had a lot of other problems, but I solved those by just wiping everything. The only thing I saved was my photos, and that was completely it. And um, this seemed to be the problem. I went to the Apple Store, and they suggested for me to get two, eight, two four gigabytes of RAM from this website called Crucial.com that they highly recommend. So you guys should check that out. So now let's hop into me actually changing out the RAM. Alrighty. So what you're going to want to do is first, as I stated earlier, take out these screws. You're going to want to take out the top ones first because they're a little bit longer. Alright. Now we got all the screws off. This thing should pop right out. Wow. Now as you guys can see here, this is the RAM here, and then right here is the battery. So we're gonna to wanna to take the battery out first. Pop out the battery. This is not the proper tool to use. Pull through the pry tool, but this is metal. I wanted to give this plastic thing first, cause you know, Metal with computer doesn't really mix. All right, so now that we have the the battery out, we're gonna take we're gonna take our RAM sticks out, and there's two be two things right over here. These two retaining bars, you pull them out, and it just should just pop right out, just like so. All right. Now we gotta open our new Crucial. So we're upgrading from two gigabytes of RAM in, uh, between two sticks to eight gigabytes of RAM between two sticks. So it should be a good upgrade and, change, and it should solve my problems of the computer being really, really slow. Second one in like so. After when, after you're done with that, you're gonna want to pop in, pop back in your battery. And once you're done with that, you're gonna want to put the top back on. Do the big screws first. Open. 
Start it right back up. Should be good to go. Alrighty guys, that is how you change your RAM in a mid-2012 MacBook Pro. So that wraps up today's video. If you like this video, please smash that like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you want to stay up to date of whenever I post a video, please hit that bell button. And please share this video with your friends. I know this was kind of a shorter video. If you like these techie videos, please make sure you leave a like. And if you want to see more of these in the future, please comment down below because I'm, yeah, maybe, maybe I'll run into some more problems with my computer and I can do some work on it. So please let me know if you want to see more, more videos like these. So with that being said, I hope every one of you guys have a splendid rest of your day. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.